Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yes, the fan is on, it's still really muggy here in the UK. I am going to take you through the books that I read in the month of July. There's a, a nice little stack here. Um, so, the first one I'm going to talk about is The Emerald City of Oz by L. Frank Baum. This is obviously book six in the Wizard of Oz series. And in this book, Dorothy goes back to Oz. And this time, Uncle Henry and Auntie M go with her. The reason being is that they can't make payment on their farm and they're about to lose it. So Dorothy goes first and then she explains the situation to Ozma of Oz and she brings Uncle Henry and Auntie M to Oz as well. They then go off on an adventure um, to show M and Henry the land of Oz and meet various characters. All the while the Gnome King is plotting to steal back his magic belt from Ozma and his plan to do that is to tunnel under the desert, the deadly desert and up into the Emerald City um, and can they stop? Well of course they can because there are more books after this but I really really enjoyed this. I think I gave this one five. I think it's my favourite in the series so far and um, I just really really enjoy reading these Wizard of Oz books. They're just so nice. I'm trying to read one a month at the moment. Um, I read uh, Tess Carrotson playing with fire. It has a tagline, what if your child wanted you dead? And um, this is about this woman. She is a musician, a violinist, and she is in, um, she's in somewhere, Italy, I think. And she buys uh, from a antique shop, a piece of antique music. She collects old music. Um, and she takes it home and the first time she plays it on her, her violin she gets lost in the music and the cat ends up being stabbed to death and she thinks it's by her daughter. Um, so now she's worried that the daughter's a psychopath. Then a little while later everything settles down and she plays it again and this time she gets stabbed in the leg with some shards of glass. Again, she thinks it's the daughter doing this. Everybody else thinks she's the issue. So she decides to go and track down the who wrote this piece of music that was written during the war and find out the story behind this last piece of music. She goes with her friend. And it's a really, really good book. Um, great ending, absolutely fantastic. Love Tess Gerritsen. This is a bit different for her, so I really, really enjoyed that one. Uh, I read a couple of Marilyn's books, new books this month, and the first one is an iconic influencer, Marilyn Monroe, Tales from the Making of Niagara 1953 by Richard J. Schmelter. Now, I enjoyed this, and I do believe he's going to do all her stardom films, so next would be Gentlemen for the Blondes, which is great because they look really nice on the shelf altogether. There wasn't anything really new in there for me. Um, the only claim that I, I'm a bit dubious about is he claims that she wore in her scene where she's wearing a robe. It's the same robe that Jean Harlow wore in Dinner, from Dinner, Dinner at Eight. I don't believe it is. I know costumes did the rounds and it going from MGM to Fox would be nothing, but when I look at it, it doesn't look the same to me, but I'm sure someone out there would be able to tell me where the web, it was still, it was okay. But there wasn't anything new in there, but I still think it's worth adding to your Marilyn collection. And then there was Icons of Style, uh, Marilyn Monroe. This is just quotes um, by her and by other people. So for instance, Edith Sitwell, um, Josh Logan, who directed Bus Stop, um, Billy Wilder, obviously and so on. Again, nothing rele relevatory in here. It's just a nice little addition to a Marilyn collection. It's not a necessity, but it's really pretty and nice to have. I read Sleep by S.L. Taylor, Seven Guests, Seven Secrets, One Killer. So this tells the story of Anna. Anna is driving back from a conference with two of, three of her colleagues. Three of her colleagues. I want to say three. Maybe it's two. Um, and they are in an accident on the M25. Anna is fine. One is killed 
is it three? I think I want to say three. No, there were there were three others: Freddie, Peter, and Mo. Um, and the other two have died, and Mo is paralysed. So she starts having obviously nightmares, PTSD and all that from this. So she decides to take a job on uh, a Scottish island of rum. It's a really good book. Somebody is out to get Anna, but you don't know who it is. Is it one of the, a member of one of the families of the persons that were killed or injured? somebody else is murdered and it, it goes oh it is very twisty and turny but very very good definitely worth picking up if you see it I mean I got it from the charity shop so um, I read Johnny and the Bomb by Terry Pratchett this is one of uh, a trilogy featuring Johnny um, I think this is a two or three it's not the first one I know that but in this book Johnny and his friends discover time travel um, along with this this very old weird woman Mrs Tachyon who has a shopping cart Terry Pratchett has a thing about shopping carts or shopping trolleys um, but when you touch certain things in her shopping trolleys you end up back in time now she obviously knows the cart so well that she can go wherever she wants so she can pick the time so if somebody gave her 60p she could go to somewhere where she could get a steak dinner for 60p and so on but um, when Johnny touches it they end up in this in the 40s where a bomb is about to hit the town of Blackberry um, and they end up with two timelines and again we have his trousers of time which he has referred to on more than one occasion uh, it is funny it is funny obviously it's a, a young adult or a middle grade book I'm not sure I'd say middle grade but when I was growing up we didn't have middle grade it was kids and adults you know you did have teens but they weren't YA but you're sort of like you had your kids books and then you had your like your Sweet Valley High Nancy Drew and then you had your adult books there was none of this sort of they didn't have names for it so we were sort of left stuck trying to find something age appropriate so I just didn't bother and jump straight from Nancy Drew to Agatha Christie at eight but there you go um, but yeah very very funny definitely worth a read pick it up if you can I'm glad I was able to get it in hardback I've just got to get the other two now and finally I did it I finished War and Peace yes I did and I'm very proud that I finished War and Peace. It took me four and a bit months. I started it on the 14th of March and I finished it before we went on holiday, so before the 20th of July. So it is a big book, but I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Um, I got invested with the characters. It was that well written. I wanted to know what was going to happen to Andre, to Natasha. Uh, to Pierre and, and to Anatole and Nikolai and Maria um, when Andre was left for dead by Napoleon's surgeon on the battlefield I was like no you can't leave him he can't die yet he can't die he didn't at that point so and I wanted you know I was invested in these characters um, it is a long re read the war bits are very well written they they're hard to read because it's describing people dying and being destroyed and, and you see the soldiers and, and they're, they're thinking this isn't worth it what are we doing even they see that there's no point to this war uh, but they have to keep on fighting and the only reason it lost a star was because after he wrapped up the story of Natasha uh, Natasha Rostov and her family and uh, Prince and the Bolkonskis and their family is he rattled on about how puerile and stupid war was for like another 50 pages that didn't need to be there that's it that's the only thing I thought it could have said that in like two paragraphs didn't need to go on like it did but oh I will read it again at some point it's just very very heavy but I am so proud of myself dad if you're up there I read it I read war and peace I did it
<laughs> so I'm so proud of myself for reading it and I will be reading more Tolstoy because I really did enjoy his writing so that's it for this month we'll be back again next month uh, with some more books have you read any of these and if so what did you think of any of them and, and did, have you enjoyed them have you read War and Peace did you enjoy it have you read Johnny and the Bomb or or Tess Gerritsen or, or the Osbots let me know in the comments below and I will see you again soon bye everyone